good morning everyone and welcome to enjoy your fishing uh, I hope everybody's all right and managing okay in this um, lockdown that we're on at the moment uh, this is the first time I've been able to get fishing for a, a while um, I've come to an estate State Lake in Lincoln, uh, Hearts Home Park. Uh, I don't think anybody's had a fish out of it for the last sort of two or three months, and nobody's fishing it. But I just needed to go out. Yeah, I'm, I was going stir crazy at home. Um, I said, one rod. Oh. Um, here, which is the for me little jello banjo and um, I've spiked a yellow wafter um, this is a new rod so um, I'm about to review it for you I got this at Christmas it's 11 foot carp feeder rod but I've put the two ounce tip in um, if I do get one, it's liable to be a bream in between five and ten pound because that's what they are in here. Um, but the chances of that at the minute are really, I'd be just happy if I get one bite to be honest. Uh, just nice to be outside. Um, Bait's I'm using. Um, I've got one dub of the, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, sweet fish meal black and sweet fish meal gold mixed together. Uh, that's just pure neat ground bait. And then on the other tool here, I've got the same ground bait mix, but with some soaked scrapings pellets. What I've done with the pellets is I've given them a good squirt last night um, with um, the evolved uh, pineapple spray that I've got. Turns them a bit yellowy, hopefully it'll stand them out a little bit, but no matter how hard I squeeze them now, and these are scrattons. Right, the way I do them at night, um, it just makes them really um, springy. Right, and then I put them in the fridge overnight. So, right, I think what we do is... What I'm going to do is I'm going to start at... I'm going to start at... Um, Forty meters, and then work my way out. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll. I'm going to start and work my way along in a fan. Just looking for indications, any liners or anything like that. And then I'll gradually work me out, like way out like to 45, 15 and 55 and 60 metres. Um, right, well, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over there with the tree as we mark here. Um, there we go. That's perfect. So, okay. Don't move the feeder. As TP says, don't move the feeder. <laughs>
Not moved. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. What I'm going to do as well is I brought the cadence 11 foot rod with me. Um, that's just got a really light ounce tipping. And what I'm going to do is just Keep firing the food. Red. <clears throat> Maggots in at eighteen meters. And I'll just throw a bomb over that. My mission today is just to catch a fish, which um, if I'm honest, I think I'm going to be up against it. Right, but, um, Sometimes it's not about catching fish though, sometimes it's just being out in the outdoors, like just relaxing and yeah. If the tip goes around it's a bonus in it sometimes. And, um, but all you can do when it's like this, because I know it's going to be rock hard. I can't fish the Fosdite or the Upper Witham because um, the Upper Witham's in flood and raging through and the Fosdite is over the towpath where you sit so uh, in the other estate, little estate lake in Lincoln that's fenced off because they're doing a lot of repairs on that um, this one they have been doing a few repairs on, um, like, but you've still been able to um, fish it. But as I say, nobody's had out out of here at all. Right, um, There is a couple of shoals of bream in, and one or two roads, but it's such a big lake, but if I show you, like that, i just show you the lake, and it heads off right down there in that direction. Um, that's an island there. Um, yeah, I am, um, I do apologize that there haven't been much footage recently but um, obviously it's been non-stop rain here everywhere's been in flood um, locally and uh, obviously with the lockdown you can't travel and that um, and that's sort of been for the last two or three weeks everywhere's been in flood um, and previously before that I was uh, looking after my mum who had had a fall um, so I do uh, apologise that there haven't been any footage but um, sometimes life happens and uh, that takes priority uh, but mum's doing well now so um, I'll be able to go out a bit now once the water levels go down I think mean, this is about, this has got about a foot and a half extra water in it. I mean, the last time I fished this 
spot. That's I, I was right. I was right out there. So, just shows you how much rain we've had. Okay, I'll talk to you if there's any action. Well, I'm back. I'm um, on my third cast at the minute. I've been fishing 40 minutes. Been giving it 15 minutes on each cast. I'm not at a liner, not at a sign or anything at the moment. So what I'll do on this, because I've been doing it, I'll unclip and go another. five meters just see if I can see any signs of fish every five minutes um putting in a dozen maggot on me 18 meter bomb line for me cadence run that's just a I'll show, I'll show you that's just a that's just a little free running rig with twizzle boom right and I've started on a Let's have a look. 60 centimeter book length. Um, I will, and uh, but in all honesty, I think uh, talk about Mission Impossible with all the rain with. And, and, um, I've not seen a sign of anything like that. So yeah, talk about Mission Impossible. I think Tom Tom Cruise had struggled today to go out <laughs> so um, but you never know and it's it's just nice to be out so um, I think everybody's going a little bit stir crazy at the moment aren't they so um, but, uh, I would just be pleased when the river gets uh, back down to normal level um, don't mind it being a bit pacey but there's no way you can fish it at the moment. Um, same as the tidal trend, which is only t 20 minutes away. I mean, that was up to, up to the top of the flood bank, the tidal was, and coming over a little bit in places. So um, the rivers have been out, and the can local canal, which is sort of joins connects the tidal trend to the Witham. You can imagine how high that's been up as well. Um, yeah, it's just nice to be out. It is. Welcome back everyone. Still no signs, not even a light at liner. Uh, been fishing for about an hour and 50 minutes. Um, I've worked my way out. I'm at um, 60 metres now. Still keep firing a few maggots on that short line. Um, I have changed to a method. I have changed to a method feeding now. The distance is 60 meters. It's the, as I say, it's the first time I've used this rod. It's hit, hitting it comfortably. It is. There's still a lot more if, to go if I want to, and it's only an 11 foot rod. Um, it is. Um, 
but take them distances comfortably. You've got to match it with the reel as well. So um, I picked up a reel from um, Andy at um, Wisby Angling. Quite cheap, old 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 stock. It was. It's the um, PXR Pro um, from Preston. It's the five thousand. Uh, it's got a bit wider spool and um, just um, hitting that distance comfortably it is. Um, oh, might get a pull round in a minute, I've just seen a grieve dive down between. <laughs> It'd be a bit of excitement anyway. <laughs> but I haven't seen a f I haven't seen a fish top. I haven't seen any fi any movement at all. Um, One thing I would say, at the moment I've got a method on, um, not a big, big one, just a small one. Um, what I've got on at the moment, I've got a longer stem on, elasticated. Um, when you're fishing at them distances, it just stabilises the uh, rig. It does, uh, as opposed to, I'd use a sh smaller one up to distances up to 30, 30 metres, right? Uh, but that just stabilises it for ac accuracy, that's all. Um, three hours to go um, and we'll see what we can do um, all right I'll uh, check in with you back in with you in a bit well it's nearly four hours I've not had a sign at all I've not seen a fish top Well, I'm very impressed with the um, new rod. First time I've used it, got it at Christmas, and um, cast very well. It's got quite a bit of that power in the. Bottom, bottom section and it's quite soft at the top with the two outer tipping. Um, I've also got the one below this as well, uh, the medium. Got one, I've not tried that yet, but this is more for pun punching it out more. Um, both 11 foot, so I've also got the cadence 11 foot uh, and the cadence is the 11 foot number two. I would really recommend it for distances uh, if on a short line for bream or on a small river or canal. Um, I've landed tent on it on the cadence up to uh, six seven pound. I have uh, and bream up to five pound, um, and the playing action of the cadence rod is. Absolutely, it's absolutely brilliant. 
it is. I think it's the best rod they do, the 11 foot number two. Um, but if you're in a lake like this, it's all right for your short line at like 30 meters. Um, and if you catch on your short line, that's happy days. Um, But this, obviously, I mean, I've not had a fish on it yet. It don't look like I'm going to get one today. Um, but the action and gasoline, I know it's going to be all right anyway. Uh, you just got a feel for a rod. But I'll, uh, yeah, the two rods that I would really recommend. Um, that's the Drennan 11 foot cart feeder and I've sort of we're, we're 45 gram banjo feeder um, I've easily hit 60 meters um, I'd say we're a bit more weight at it 70 but with 45 grams um, 60 is more comfortable I did clip up to 66 meters um, but it just fell short be about by about a meter so uh, but I didn't have any um, heavier banjos with me but I'm sure if I do gone up to 60 it would have hit that all right well anyway I'm gonna call it a day, we should get 10 more minutes. I think I've got more chance of that tip going round as I have of being bitten by a daffodil. Um, but <coughs> it's been nice to be out and at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Um, if we caught every time we went, it, it, it'd be it'd be called catching and not fishing. And given how it is at the minute, it's just been really nice just to be out. And uh, catching a fish would have been a bonus, to be honest. I knew it'd be rock hard. And, yeah. It has been. Um, as I say, I've not seen a fish move, or I haven't. Or Tyler been here, and I've, as I say, I've been here just under four hours now. Um, but that's the way it goes. And um, anyway, it's nice to make this video for you. Sorry, there haven't been much action, but it's been nice to review. The two rods for you. Um, very impressed with both of them. They're both 11 foot. It's the um, Cadence 11 foot number two and the um, Drennan 11 foot carp feeder. All right. Well, I shall. Um, get out of the bank and start making videos for you as soon as the water levels go down um, and as always thanks for watching the video um, please subscribe and um, I shall um, talk to you all soon and as always
stay safe um, and um, look after yourselves and thank you for watching. Okay, enjoy your fishing. Bye for now. Bye.